Hello and welcome back to the Eagle Griffin Games Vlog, and this week we'll introduce a new segment called Focus on 5. Well, we're going to focus on 5 games in various categories, and this week's Focus on 5 category is Games Featuring Art. Then we'll give you a sneak peek of a two-player variant for For Sale Autorama and the For Sale Advisors expansion for the classic For Sale. In the Eggs from the Vault segment, we'll give you a quick overview of a racing game where you're racing tugboats, avoiding crocodiles and rocks along the way while picking up commodities and making documentaries about animals. And then finally, We'll finish it off with a game giveaway. But first, let's update you on a couple of our Kickstarter projects. The Kickstarter campaign for Railways of the World expansions concluded last week. So this week, we're updating you on the status of a project in progress, For Sale Autorama, and the For Sale Advisors expansion have been approved for mass production. The game should be available to begin transit to our fulfillment centers within the next few months. In this new segment, we'll be focusing on five games in various categories. This week's Focus on Five category is Games Featuring Art. The first game on our list is The Gallerist by Vital Lacerda. Players take on the role of gallery owners who attempt to discover new artists, from who they can purchase, exhibit, and sell their art to various investors and collectors. The artist's fame will continue to rise as more collectors become aware of their talent, which increases the value of their works of art. As players' reputation grows, they'll be able to attract more visitors into their gallery, which can increase their influence and improve sales. The player that can best manage their gallery and earn the most money by the end of the game will be crowned the winner. Our second game of art is Sean McDonald's Pastiche, where players complete commissions of the finest European artworks of the past six centuries by mixing paint colors on their artist's palette. The newest edition, Petite Pastiche, includes 23 commissions in total, each by a different artist. During the game, players will place palette hexes adjacent to those already in play in order to mix various colors to generate palette cards in primary, secondary, or tertiary colors. After that, players will have the option of trading palette cards with other players or with the palette bank. Ultimately, the goal is to acquire the necessary palette cards needed to complete a commission either from your hand or from the gallery. These commissions will earn you victory points based on the complexity of the work of art. Our third game on the list is a game about stolen paintings. Players take turns as a thief attempting to steal and auction off paintings from a museum display. The other players are detectives attempting to spot the paintings stolen before they are auctioned. The thief will earn points for the paintings they get away with, while the detectives earn points for identifying the stolen paintings. This art-themed party game for 2-8 to eight players also has variants for alternate ways to play. Number 4 of this list is Cubist. In Cubist, you and your opponents are architects competing to build a grand and inspiring new modern art museum, including its interior sculptures or installations. Aptly enough, your building materials are cubes, or more precisely, dice. On each turn, you roll two dice and place them in your studio as raw materials for your cubist sculptures. From there, you position these dice to complete commissioned installations for the museum. Dice with identical numbers can be stacked on top of one another to give your sculptures elevation and grandeur. Dice with adjacent numbers go next to one another to construct unconventional footprints of modernism. You can press your luck by committing to a certain risky commission, hoping that no one else will complete it first, or play it safe by locking up your dice for later use. Our fifth game featuring art is Rival Realms by Alf Siegert. Victims of a curious card trick gone very, very wrong, you and a rival magician find yourselves lost in a billowing sea of fog. When it dissolves, you gaze upon the immense emptiness of Fantastica the legendary land of fabled beasts and fantastical quests, only moments before it's summoned into being. And you are the magicians who will summon it. With nothing but a shared pack of magical cards, you and your opponents continue your competition by creating rival realms in Fantastica itself. Summon strange landscapes, adventure through arcane regions, find fabled beasts, 
gather odd and awesome artifacts, the magician who scores the most points for their realm in these weird ways is declared the winner. This week, we're releasing a two-player variant for For Sale Autorama and the For Sale Advisors expansion for the classic For Sale. This variant introduces a remote buyer who also buys and sells properties, adapting the game to be playable by two players. You'll also be able to use this variant with the classic For Sale without the Advisors expansion by skipping the first round of the variant. A link to this variant is included in the description below. In Zambezi the Expedition Game, players are going to be racing these tugboats, and each player gets their own tugboat with their own crew. And you'll be racing down the Zambezi River, starting from Victoria Falls and going all the way to Lake Kariba. Players will be drawing and playing cards and moving that amount. And if you get to a landing stage, you'll be able to take something like diamonds or gold or silver, which are worth points at the end of the game or possibly even fuel that will help you give you more choices on your turn. Now you have to be careful because if you land on rocks, you'll lose a crew member, and if you've lost your last crew member, you're out of the game. And being stuck on the rocks require you to play an odd card to get off of them. And if you land on another boat, you collide and you both lose a crew member. Instead of just drawing one card on your turn, you can burn up to two fuel in order to draw up to two cards to give yourself more choices. And you can even play cards of the same value to do multiple hops, giving yourself more movements in one turn and even jumping right over the crocodiles, which normally you'd get stuck on if you landed there and you'd have to spend that much fuel to get off them next turn. But every card you don't use that you drew that round goes in front of you and other players can take that instead of drawing from the draw pile, giving other players more choices. And at the end of your turn, you can start a documentary on a single animal with the number one, either from your hand or from someone else that left it face up in front of them. And you're trying to develop that documentary on that single animal by playing cards of the same number or higher over the course of the game, because the one with the best documentary, the most cards of that single animal, is going to get the most points for that in the end of the game. And the game ends as soon as all the boats that are still remaining make it to Lake Kariba. Not only will you score points for getting to Lake Kariba faster than others, but you'll also get it for the goods that you've collected throughout the game and for how good your documentary was. Zambezi, the expedition game, is for 2-8 to eight players for ages 10 and up, and it's available now. So click the link below to be brought right to the product page. I just gave you a quick overview of Zambezi, the expedition game. Now today we're giving away one copy. To enter, all you have to do is be a subscriber of our channel and then make a comment. Now if you aren't yet a subscriber, you can click just below me to subscribe. Once a subscriber, for your comment for today's giveaway, let us know of your favorite travel destination. Now you have from one week for when this video was launched to enter, and I hope you enjoyed this week's Eagle Griffin Games vlog. You can click the playlist link below to see all of the past vlogs, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.